Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 14.5, the latest beta release from Apple iOS 14.5 has just been released on its first beta this week and it brings a ton of new awesome features to iOS 14. Now I know with the release of iOS 14.4, a lot of people have been disappointed regarding the new features on iOS 14.4. There was just like three or four new features, but iOS 14.5 is packed with new features. Now I did show you 30 new features of iOS 14.5 on a previous video can go ahead and check that out on the card and of course there are more hidden features on iOS 14.5. So in this video we're going to talk all about those hidden features and we're talking about performance, battery life, bugs and way more regarding the new iOS 14.5. Alright, so let's start things off with the new hidden features of iOS 14.5. One really awesome is found on Safari. So you know that on earlier versions of iOS 14, you would be able to play videos on YouTube in Safari on the picture in picture mode. Then that was blocked and on iOS 14.5, it now does actually work. Hopefully this won't be blocked on the new releases of iOS 14.5. And of course with the updates of youtube but again right here on ios 14.5 you will be able to play videos on the picture in picture mode on youtube and safari so just like that you can see we are now playing the video nothing is interrupting the video here and you can have the video from youtube of course from safari on the picture in picture mode this is a feature of course a lot of people want it and it worked on as i said on the earlier versions of ios 14 but then it was blocked and now is back with 14.5 Podcast has been one of the apps that got the most updates with iOS 14.5. A lot of new features have been added and also redesigned UI on iOS 14.5 on the podcast app. There is also another feature that we didn't talk about. Now you can quickly download episodes on the podcast app simply by swiping like this. You'll get a new download button right there. What you can also do is go ahead and quickly download one simply by swiping all the way like this. You can see it just expands the download button. You release it and now it is downloading that episode on your device. So as easy as that quickly with those gestures, swiping gestures, you can go ahead and download any episode on the podcast app. Another change I've noticed on iOS 14.5 is right here on the widget panel. When you go to add a widget, you will see the button right here to add the widget. You can see now it has more rounded corners. Now this used to be like a square here. Now it has those rounded edges and in my opinion, it looks way better. Another UI tweak on iOS 14.5, when you sign in into Game Center on any of the games that you're playing, you will see now this banner, that, that like small banner right there pop up showing you that you're signed in. Now this used to be like a big banner right here at the top, now it has been redesigned and it's much smaller and of course will take less space on the screen. There is also a new feature with Siri and Apple Music, so whenever you ask Siri to play a song, on the music app, actually what happens is that it will play that song and then it will just stop the music. With iOS 14.5, if you do that, it will actually play the song and then continue playing similar songs to that one that you have asked Siri to play. Now when talking about battery life, it has been quite good here on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I know this is a newer device and of course you can expect to have better battery life despite the software that you have on the device. Of course this is a beta version, this is a beta 1 and you cannot expect it to have that like a bigger difference from iOS 14.4 in this case. And of course there are a lot of new features that have been added and that of course might also affect the battery life on this beta beta version. Now as I said battery life is pretty decent. I can say at this point it is similar to iOS 14.4 at least here on my device. I didn't notice any like decrease any battery drain or something like that. It is still the same as I said as iOS 14.4. Now of course this is only beta 1 and until the release of iOS 14.5 I expect Apple to improve of course tweak something on the software and improve battery life on the devices especially on older ones. 
Moving on to performance, iOS 14.5 is really good, very smooth, I didn't notice any like major bugs, hangs, glitches or something like that. I also ran a Geekbench test here and here we have the results. So here are the results from the latest three updates from Apple, so we have iOS 14.3 here, 14.4, and at the top is the newest one, iOS 14.5. Now, taking a look at these results, like comparing them to iOS 14.4, you can see right here, the single core score is basically the same. So we have 1,300 and 1,602 on the iOS 14.4, and we have just a point more here on 14.5. But when it comes to multi-core multi score, you can see here a slight increase with the performance on iOS 14.5, even though, as I said, this is only beta one. So what we have here is 4,125. This is iOS 14.4. While, while moving, of course, to iOS 14.5, we have an increase here to 4,195, which is quite a good increase. Of course, it's nothing like major, but of course, with the release of the new betas and then the final release of iOS 14.5, you can expect this to increase as well so overall the performance is quite good even though of course there are bugs on iOS 14.5 and we will talk about them in just a second now one of the major bugs that I have noticed on iOS 14.5 I'm experiencing this myself and I've seen a lot of people on Reddit on the iOS beta subreddit complaining about this is the poor performance on AirDrop. Like AirDrop, I'll leave it on all the time of course, working here with my Mac, I try to send files, it will just take a lot of time until it finds my iPhone and it just basically it's not performing that good at all. AirDrop. A huge deal of course hopefully apple will do something and fix that with ios 14.5 beta 2 because the airdrop performance is very slow and it takes a lot to actually find the device and send files between my mac and my iphone running ios 14.5 beta 1. now another bug on ios 14.5 that a lot of people are having problems with are safari pages not loading i did try quite a few websites on safari never had this problem but i've seen this on twitter basically on reddit as well and there are a lot of people complaining about pages not opening on safari what they get is just this error message saying that webkit has encountered an internal error and not loading pages now this is a huge deal of course i've seen people report pages not opening like very important pages maybe like google in this case we have here a screenshot of mac rumors not opening and of course this is a huge deal now another bug that i have noticed with ios 14.5 is that if you go to shortcuts and you have a shortcut that actually turns off the wi-fi that won't work so here we have wi-fi it's already turned on tapping there you can see it will run the shortcut but it won't actually go ahead and turn off the wi-fi now you can turn it on this one works turning off doesn't work at all now of course this is a beta version so that's why it's not recommended for everyone to download that into their daily devices because it will have bugs but hopefully with the new updates they will get fixed and now let's talk about the next beta of iOS 14.5, which hopefully will fix these problems. Now, in my opinion, iOS 14.5 beta 2 should come really soon. I expect it to come as early as next week, probably on Tuesday or Wednesday, we should have beta 2 of iOS 14.5 hopefully fixing some of the bugs that I just mentioned. And I've seen a lot of people report all kinds of different bugs with iOS 14.5. Of course, on every new update where there are a lot of new features being added, there will be also bugs. And let's talk about again about the release date of iOS 14.5. Now this update, the major feature of iOS 14.5 is the new privacy feature, which will stop apps from tracking people. And according to Apple, they mentioned this and this update is coming on early spring. So expect iOS 14.5 to be released on its final version somewhere around end of the March, probably the last week of the March or the first week of April. I expect Apple to release this update to the public during those days. And last but not least, let's talk about whether you should install or not iOS 14.5 beta 1 on your device. 
So if you just have like a spare device and you just want to try out the new features, go ahead and try it out. If you have one device and that's your daily device, don't install this beta just yet. It's best to wait for a few more betas or even just wait for the final release. It is not recommended that you have betas on your daily device, of course, because all of the bugs and stuff like that. So if you're interested as again on the new features, just find a spare device and try them out. Otherwise, wait for the next betas or the final release. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is everything you need to know regarding iOS 14.5. So more hidden features, of course, battery performance and all that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead, subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next one.